Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I would try and illustrate what VWAP is and uh, how you could use it as a great tool in your trading. Um, now, uh, what is VWAP? VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price and uh, it is like any other moving average except that uh, it is calculated on the basis of price as well as volume. Uh, and on the other hand, a moving average only caters for the price movement. So what is VWAP? VWAP is the uh, formula for VWAP rather is equal to the price into volume for a given duration divided by the summation of volume. On the other hand, what is a moving average? A moving average is calculated by simply the summation of all the closing prices and divided by the number of periods for which the moving average has been calculated. So you can see that the VWAP incorporates the volume in its calculation as compared to a moving average which does not. Okay. So what, what do we look out for? Uh, when we say uh, we want to use the VWAP. So let's first start with uh, adding this indicator on this platform uh, gocharting.com. So it's it's really simple to add it. You just have to go to the indicator section and add VWAP. Okay. We, we will discuss the VWAP bands as well uh, a little later on. So let's start with VWAP. Okay. So you can go ahead and select the color session and the deviation bands later on. I've just can, I mean, selected this option, and it's totally up to you what you like. Okay, so let's first uh, move into a shorter time frame so you, so that you can see the Viva for a day or for a session. Okay, now. Uh, why is the VWAP so important and why do you think this keeps happening okay on any given trend day and why do you think it reacts so much and how can you use it okay so the VWAP is generally looked into by the large institutional traders and the funds to move in or out of the positions as uh, by having as little impact as they can okay so what do i mean by that for example okay if if an institutional trader today wants to buy okay if he buys everything here in the opening five minutes or his his quantity as it is is too much he can't finish everything here he has to push in everything at various steps and at various stages throughout the day throughout the week throughout the month okay so how do they do it they actually go and uh, so the prices do not move away from them too much and their average price is is decent enough for them to earn what they are looking for they wait and they this is the parameter they use very very significantly okay so whenever you this comes here and you see a bounce up back this comes in so you think are retail traders that powerful to cause this and then eventually cause this no they're not this these are funds institutions that are actually paying heed to uh, this this particular indicator and uh, well in my opinion this is one of the few indicators that they use okay other than the simple moving average and uh, I can go as far as to say that their performances are generally based on how they are performed on a particular day with respect to the VWAP. Okay, so this is how important it is. Now the other part is how do we use it? Okay, now uh, the VWAP, the first and the most important part of the VWAP is its slope. Okay, so what do I mean by a slope? On a trend day, you would have a declining uh, slope. On, on a trend day down, you will have a declining slope. On, on a trend day up, you will have an inclining slope. Now, uh, let us let us try and find for for example this day. Okay, this is a good trend day, and you can see the number. Let's let's take this out to the side. Okay, 
the number of points that we caught on this day is approximately I mean you can go and say 250 points okay and look at slope here it's, it's really up so even if I uh, go ahead and hide this uh, candles I can look at this VWAP and tell you what what kind of a day it was and this is how you should use it okay what do I mean by that of course this is easy to say that it was an it's a trend day and you could have used this now this VWAP for a trend day comes in real handy for the next day if it has not been tested the previous day so what do I mean by that this VWAP the next day gets tested and blown up again okay not only this day even on this day it acts as a sort of support and resistance let's not count the first five minutes because it's generally uh, too uh, chaotic at that time and a lot of positions are coming in and going out so let's not uh, get into the first five minutes and look at this so, so you can see what what I mean okay now let us take this out now what more days when the slope is flat now when the slope is flat it, it is really difficult to trade off the VWAP uh, particularly because you might not get bounces like this this is not a uh, perfectly flat slope okay you had a start in the day and then it went down and this is a trade you could have taken but somewhere here as I say as the slope flattens you know it gives you an indication that for the day the market isn't intending to go anywhere it's going to be choppy so you might as well fade the high fade the highs and uh, the lows of the day and find good opportunities so so you can lo look at the VWAP even if you're not getting uh, I mean a clue or you're losing sight of what is happening in the markets for a particular day you can look at uh, the slope of the VWAP and trade accordingly okay so for example this day till this particular time the slope is absolutely flat and what is happening you can see what is happening and then there is a breakout now this again it's not a rule of thumb or something but a flat and then resulting this thing any trade that comes off here and is in a slope you can take a trend trade uh, against the that particular slope so what I what do I mean by that so if, if you were touched here you could have taken a shot because this suddenly emerged leading to a spike or, or, or a late rally or, or a late fall okay this is not a rule of thumb but you could just use it of course you need to place your stops uh, for every trade to you take now the latest day this this is a beautiful day to take a trade of viva okay so and especially if after the first 10 minutes you just do not see the viva being breached so there's a very very high chance on this day that this is going to happen okay nevertheless I, I'm not saying that you can catch this move but you can certainly catch if you couldn't catch the first one the second one even this was good and this is not it might look you look to be small it is about 50 60 points another one was maybe this one okay aiming for this so this is this is not a flat uh, VWAP but a sloping VWAP not that uh, advancing but still a sloping VWAP and what is the giveaway that I mean the sellers were just not able to reach it so so you know there are some people there that are really going to defend this today okay no matter what it's it's tried I mean four times and it's not able to breach so there is someone going to breach uh, I mean someone going to defend it throughout the day so and on days like this when you see that it is breaching you you're not sure so you take a trade when there is a slope or when something like this is broken down okay the day is high or the low that has been established and it's broken down and then you can trade it take a trade somewhere even here when you've confirmed that the slope is moving downwards okay so this is what I mean so uh, another uh, thing that I keep talking about is uh, it does not concern to the VWAP but the market profile is that on a neutral day on days like this when you are not sure who is in control it is always better to wait for the later part of the day after about 1300 hours where you will get a clear direction by clear direction I mean you might get a clear trade this is so haphazard and it is so difficult to trade 
okay so that was a VWAC now uh, I let us also talk about what do we miss by using the VWAC this uh, VWAC is reset for every day okay so yes we might mark it like this and get a picture of what happened yesterday okay we ma might mark this and get a picture of what happened the day before and so on but we still are missing the bigger picture what is that it is that uh, it's getting reset so it's not giving me the complete picture as I would want and as uh, I mean as much as I would want to use the VWAP so what do I do there is another tool for this purpose it's called the anchor VWAP it is nothing but a VWAP starting from a point where you choose to start from now having said that let's shift to a 30 minute time frame and let's switch it off okay so having said that it is not that you could uh, draw or anchor a VWAP from anywhere uh, you could actually and uh, try your hand on it and get better at it and uh, again uh, like for the VWAP uh, even for the anchor VWAP every instrument behaves differently okay every instrument has has a character of its own as to how it would behave with, with the VWAP so you need to be sticking to an instrument and look at how people or how the big institutions or the large uh, holders behave for a daily VWAP okay similarly you would also get good information on how these guys behave when you're anchoring a VWAP, okay. So by anchoring, I just mean I can pick any point literally on the chart and anchor a VWAP from. But how do we use it effectively, okay? So the main thing is to use it with important reference points. What would those be? They they could be earnings. They could be uh, significant swing lows, swing highs, a recent high, a recent low, an event day, and so on, okay. So to give an example, this is a nifty 30 minute chart. So let's talk about a swing low that we had. So this is one area. Okay, that is of importance. So this is one we can consider this as a swing low. Okay, so let's start from here and up till now. Okay, I'll select this and add one. Okay, the other I could select is a swing high okay something like this and so you see they both are uh, almost there so now as as I said about the VWAP the same holds good for an anchored VWAP okay this is from the last swing low so if I see at this point like the slope was high or rising now the slope has flattened uh, it was declining here now it is flattening so you you can get a sense of what is happening don't get too involved into what has happened here here that is the way market moves it's it's in a balance it move up down into a channel wherever so to keep your focus right this is how you get to know okay so it is flattening it was down here it is flattening so the so the down move till this point from this uh, swing low has certainly uh, is not as fierce as it, as it was somewhere here okay so let's move on now this is the latest swing low we can add this okay so as far as this the price is above this I I am not bearish now okay then something of this sort okay so again you can see what I'm trying to input and you could also add the latest swing high okay now so as you see this is the price which it was trying to defend and it moves up so you don't need it uh, need to use it for levels of a buy or sell signals you need to use it uh, as, as as a zone as as an uh, indicator or maybe a tool to give you an idea of where the market stands today okay so in the longer picture 
uh, if we're considering the swing low that we spoke about in the previous part somewhere in the February month of in the month of February so the slope has flattened so what do I do I what do I mean by this I mean that there is unless until the slope moves down or it decisively for a day or two stays below this and the and then eventually the slope starts moving down I can say okay we we are uh, going into face down move okay till this part slope was down and then this flattens okay of course it is because of the up move here but that is what matters okay so now the latest swing low and the slope is again flattened so what can we expect we will expect a choppy market if uh, when the price stays in this area as it moves up and the slopes start moving up again the market is bullish so this is how you can get a fair idea of what the present auction is and how you can trade it so uh, of course when for example if you come into uh, in today and you see this and you immediately see a response as the day started and it moving and hovering around this anchor we got you get an idea that maybe the market is not as uh, bearish as, as it seemed when the day started so uh, for all you know it would fall tomorrow or day after we don't know but we have to wait okay now another part is this swing high so this slope is downwards and uh, again this is an another important uh, I mean check post if you could call it that you can use okay so the first one to start sloping aggressively again is this one then maybe this one and then the longer term ones so uh, they like the moving averages as to how you use them but the only caveat is that this thing is based on volume so this caters for a price movement which has been which has taken place with good volumes and also a price uh, movement that has taken place in thin volume so so you get a good picture of what is actually happening okay so with that uh, I, I am finished and uh, you could maybe try the same things uh, for other instruments and see how they behave uh, for example bank nifty it, it works like a charm on any instrument it's just that you will have to try your hands on every uh, instrument for a few days and then uh, you will get a hold of how the institutions or how that particular instrument behaves against the viva with that uh, I'm done and uh, see you next time thank you